threw it down, and I'm again going to let this last out. I fit this thing into the boat. Mm. Take a look at this. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's good to have you working around the boat with us. This is a bronze strainer that came off of a recent model boat here at the boat yard. It covers a through hull fitting. Now take a look at the pitting and the corrosion and just how weak the metal has become. Now this is a classic example of what's called galvanic corrosion. Uh, the metal has been attacked by a straight current in the water right at the boat owner's dock. Now here's the really scary part. This fitting is less than two years old. This is the best part of the, uh, of the combination of the strainer and the through-hole fitting. The through-hole fitting actually crumbled in our hands. Now the boat owner is very fortunate that we caught this in time. If the erosion of the metal had gone all the way through that through-hole fitting, he could have very well lost his boat. It would have sunk. Now fortunately, the problem can be resolved pretty inexpensively and with just a little bit of effort. And that's what we're going to be getting into today here at ShipShape TV. We're going to be installing a bonding system to our own 1978 24-foot Stamus project boat. We're also going to cover sacrificial anodes, lightning protection, and the importance of a galvanic isolator. So here's the deal. It's a trade-off. How about if we get you to spend the next 30 minutes with us, and in exchange, right after I gather up a few tools and materials, we'll let you in on a few more ways to make your boat shipshape.